Hello people, Jen and Blismata here. Today I'm going to show you how to install BaseHacks. BaseHacks is a an entry point for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. It works on 1.0 and 1.4, so even if you have the latest Pokemon update, you'll be able to use it. Anyway, you're going to need the uh, a 3DS that can run Homebrew Launcher because this is a secondary entry point. Uh, it's not primary, you're going to need access to the homebrew launcher somehow, I don't know, through friends 3DS that is hacked or something like that. You're going to need base hack exploit installer, you're going to need your 3DS SD card, and that's pretty much it. Let's get to do this. Let's do this thing. First of all, before starting, I highly recommend you back up your, um, what's it called, your save data. I do have a power save, so I'm going to do it. Let me just restore this, because I already did it once, and I want to restore my cartridge bef to factory state before, yeah, because I already installed it, and installing it again for the camera. Yeah, so I use power saves to do my backup. You can use Save Manager or SVDT. It will work just as fine. So, pre hack save. Just back your save up. There we go. Pre hack save. Anyway, I'm going to unplug this. Okay, you don't need that. You can use any other Save Manager. So, now you're going to need to go to your SD card, create a folder named BaseHack Exploit Installer. You don't need the folder, but it will make it a lot easier. And just drag this over. I already have those files there, but anyway. So now you want to edit this file. Uh, you don't need to edit, but uh, you don't need to edit it. But uh, I highly recommend you do, especially if you have multiple copies of Pokemon Omega Ruby, Ruby or Alpha Sapphire as physical and digital. So delete this and change this to true. And save it. Once you do, you can close your say uh, your text editor. And yeah, for the first part, all the files you're going to need, they're there. You're also going to need the starter.zip and that one you just unzip it on your SD card. If you have, uh, since this requires homebrew access to install the exploit in the first place, you probably will have um, will have it here. You're going to need, you know, the usual stuff: boot of 3DSX. Uh, you, you know, just get it there. The just unzip the starter zip there if you don't have anything, and you'll be good to go. Anyway, you can close that, and you can close that. The next step is on the 3DS itself. So, let's continue where we left off. You just... So, insert the cartridge, and boot to Homebrew Launcher using your preferred uh, entry point. Oh, I and don't forget to insert your SD card because if you don't insert your SD card, it'll be useless. I kind of forgot that. Anyway, I was going to use many hacks, but I might as well use humble hacks. It'll work just as well. It should work anyway. Just takes a little while to load. That kind of annoys me. Okay. There we go. Just going to the homebrew launcher. Homebrew launcher, yeah.
there we go and now you want to start base hack exploit installer and select the title you want to use Pokemon Omega Ruby don't use this on any other title that Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire just go and start it there we go Omega Ruby 1.4 detected press A to continue you're going to need um, a secret base in order for this to work so make sure you have a secret base so just play the game you probably did if you have the if you have Pokemon I guess alright so old 3DS 10.3.0 this doesn't really matter but the original firmware is 10.3.0.28 I'm using a Franken firmware, but that doesn't really matter. So 10.3 old 3DS. Oh, okay, I don't have an internet connection. Thank you, Wi-Fi, you suck. Yeah, I sometimes I don't have Wi-Fi in my room. And that is annoying, to say the least. Uh, yeah. I'll be back when I have Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm back and I have Wi-Fi. Let's just pray for it not to fail because my connection isn't really reliable. Okay, 10.328. Come on, yeah. Okay, at least the download succeeded, so no more internet needed. Okay. All right, successfully installed. Now just quit the the homebrew launcher. And go to your target console, which in my case is the same console, so it's yeah. And let's quit. Stop spinning, my computer is spinning, my fans are spinning, I don't know why. I wonder if I have too many tabs open. Anyway, let's start the game. You can also update the payload before, if you want to do a system update, you can just update the payload from the menu, but you can't change from new 3DS payload to old 3DS payload. Um, and you have to be connected to the internet through the PSS beforehand. Anyway, just go to your secret base now. Let me just focus. Yeah, just move to your secret base. Very well. My secret base is right here. If it works successfully, there we go, it worked. The team name got all messed up. So just go to your computer, go over to edit secret team settings and change team name. That should start this. You can exit and reboot, update the payload and you can just launch it, which is what I want to do. There we go and don't mind Bluetooth VR. That's just something I have installed, if you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. But yeah. So, as you see, I've successfully built it into the Homebrew Launcher using the Omega Ruby of Sapphire Entry Point. 
so thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more see ya